Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. We have traveled to Darlington for IROC Darlington. This is going to be race number two for the IROC series in their season three, and only eight races in the IROC series, so let's go through your current points. Your points leader will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Second will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the four, 329 of Heck of a Duber. Fourth will be the 96 of Nico. Fifth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Sixth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Seventh will be the 23 of Forward Than You. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your field will be the 49 of Jetman. So only 10 drivers here in the IROC series. Again, this is the top 10 in career points of current drivers in the More Freedom series. So that's what we have here. We have multiple champions in this race. The uh, King of the Aces, G3, and Nico, all More Freedom series champions. And DB and Nico, both IROC series champions as well. So, hey, they're getting these cars fired up. I'm excited about... The race today here at Darlington, the track too tough to tame, the lady in black. The crowd's about to ready to file in here, so let's go racing. Let's go through your starting lineup today for this IROC Darlington. Starting on the pole will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and on his outside, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Starting third will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting fifth will be the 49 of Jetman, and on his outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting seventh will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the three of Geek Girl Games. Starting ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and starting tenth, Shotgun on the Field, will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. So that's your starting lineup today for this IROC Darlington, again, here at the Darlington Raceway, yes, Darlington Raceway, the track too tough to tame. Again, Darlington's an amazing track. Both all the turn one and two is different than three and four. And we're going to see how these Dodge Vipers do here at Darlington as, you know, normal road course cars drive in the sort of high banks of Darlington. They're not extremely high, but they're still banked. And King of the Aces. This is going to be leading us down to take the green flag today here at Darlington. Hopefully 37 laps of green flag action here today as they slowly come down the front stretch. Crowd is just piled into the stands, waiting on the starter. The green flag is out and we are underway. <laughs> King of the Aces already out to a lead here at Darlington for this IROC series, and it's going to be a fast one here today, I feel like. I don't, I'm not sure how fast these cars will get going. We'll see after lap number one who has the fastest lap, but the 25 of JTM takes over the second position as the 13 of King of the Aces is your leader on lap one. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. Well, in... Technically, there's only 10 drivers, so you'll see them all on the on the left-hand side as the 13 of King of the Aces is your leader. Uh, lap number one, 164 miles an hour as the average right there so far. We'll see if lap two goes higher or not, but yeah, King of the Aces out to an early lead here over the 25 of JTM and the 49 of Jetman. So MBR drivers trying to track down that 13 of King of the Aces early going here and again yes so lap number two up to 177.281 miles per hour and that's by Jetman so it's going to be some fast laps here today it looks like Jetman got a little bit squirrely there off of three and four that allows that 356 of ice cream some days to get down to his inside I'm not sure if something's broken on well, that 49 Viper for for Jetman Almost said MBR, but this is not a team race here today. This is individual drivers. He just happens to drive for MBR in the More Freedom Series as he is working right now in front of that 07 of Douche Baggins. DB looking to try to get around him. 
As the 25 and JTM has now caught up to your leader, that 13 at King of the Aces. So King has led all three laps here so far today as the 25 and JTM is on his back bumper. So we work through three and four onto the front stretch here at Darlington. The 25 and JTM right to his bumper and we're gonna see what the 49 is now just, he's cruising in front of that 07 to douche back and so DB is, I'm not sure it, how the passing's going to work here today at Darlington if, uh, if we're going to see much passing at all because I don't think they'll just be working for points as you know the 49 definitely needs a good run here today currently running last in points but yeah, I guess we will see some passing as the 25 of JTM down to the inside of the 13 of King of the Aces that's going to allow the rest of the field to catch up here as the 25 out to the lead. The 356, the 49, and the 07 going to pass that zero, the 13 at King of the Aces. Coda running high off of turn three and four, or one and two down the back stretch. So the 49 now has his car hooked up again. So he must have just lost a little bit of time. I, squirrely off of three and four, I guess, uh, as he is now... Got that car straightened out, working down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Ice Cream able to power that Viper around and keep her position as of right now. But here comes the 49 and Jetman through one and two down to the back stretch. Trying to get some draft help by the 07 of Douche Baggins. DB kind of sliding high into the help the 356 back down to the bottom into the middle. Uh, Ice cream kind of a little bit squirrely there off in through the turn as we saw. This is allowing that 25 of JTM to get a heck of a lead right now, about a half a second. As we do see the 49 finally gets a good run through the turn. And we see that 356 slide high and back into line behind the 96 of Nico. So Nico knocking on the back door of the 13 of King of the Aces. As we see the 25 at JTM has just pulled that car out to a 1.2 second lead as a result of all that battling for the second position. So the 49 at Jetman into the second spot, the 07 at Douchebag and then the 13 at King of the Aces lined up right here, nose to tail. We're gonna see if they can, if the draft is gonna help them here today because I mean, after that lap, JTM added another tenth of a second onto his lead here. So JTM out to a one point. Well, okay, he did lose that tenth, so they may be catching up here. Uh, 11 of... 37 down as we see the 49 of Jetman still leading pack number two right there in front of the 07. And we'll check out at the back of this field as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 329 and the three of Geek Girl Games. So G3 currently running in the last position in front of the 329. Good run through the turn for G3 as she's gonna get around. Heck of a Duber there, and Duber is going to fall to the last position right now. So we're going to see if they can get in the line, move up to the second, well, I guess the first pack, who's going to try to catch up to your leader, the 25 of JTM. As we see the 23 of Fuller Than You, who started in the last position, currently running in the seventh position right now. And we do see the 49 of Jetman does... He does get passed by the 07 and the 13 and the 96 of Nico now working underneath him, getting some draft help again by that 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who is now going to be having contention by the 23 of Fuller Than You. So Nico trying to work underneath his more Freedom Series teammate, the 49 of Jetman, not able to get a run off the turn right there. So Jetman, good run through three and four. Nico not able to put the power down and get to his back bumper and around him. As we'll check on your leader, the 25 of JTM, who is running out here all alone, one, uh, nine tenths of a second in front of the rest of the field with second place, that 07 of Douchebaggin. So DB, season one 
of the IROC series, the champion that season is looking for his second championship in the IROC series and another win here today. He currently runs in the fifth position in the IROC series points. Um, he's got he's got a long row to hoe here to catch up to this 25 at JTM as they those two cars have kind of bro broken away. Actually, now they've just spread out in a nice uneven pack. And so that's going to make JTM's day a lot easier as he's going to be able to pull away from them. As JTM now led eight of the 15 laps here today. So we see DB starting to creep into the screen just a little bit here on the 25 of JTM. Still about a second off. Oh, eight tenths. So DB able to knock two tenths off on that last lap as they're starting to reel in that 25 at JTM. As well as the 13 of King of the Aces is staying in within striking distance about four tenths behind DB and another three tenths back yeah, about four two ten two and a half tenths back to that 49 of Jetman so the 23 of Fuller to the near the 40 and the 96 able to get around the 356 of Ice Cream someday so Ice Cream kind of falling back right now as the run wears on and her tires start to go away so the three the 329 around that 356 of ice cream someday so ice cream uh falling way back to the back of the field now as we check in on your leader that 25 at jtm here on lap number 18. so as we cross the stripe right here your leader at halfway will be the 25 of jtm and he has now led 11 of those of the laps here today that'd be 12 i think now once timing and scoring updates but the 07 of Douche Baggins has come from about 1. Point, what was it? 1.2 or 1.4 seconds back and has now caught up to the back of your leader, that 25 at JTM. As our current speeds have gone from 177 miles per hour down to 160 miles per hour. So that we've actually lost over the course of this run about three seconds off their off their uh their their lap times use my words as we see the 07 of douchebag is now underneath the 25 at jtm here that's going to allow king of the aces probably to catch up to them as i think db's just got a good run off of three and four no jtm with a good run off of three and four down the front stretch that's definitely going to allow that 13 at king of the aces and the 49 of Jetman to catch up. So tires going away here at the end of this run for the 25 of JTM. And actually all of these drivers, as we see another couple, another second knocked off the times here. So we see the 49 of Jetman now working down to the inside of the 13 of King of the Aces. As a 07, a douche baggins just powering his Viper out to the front of the field, looking for another win here in the Morph or the IROC series. Is that 07 of douche baggins? As we see, the 23 of Fuller than you makes a good run on the 25 at JTM. The 13 and the 49 hooked up in the draft right now. We're going to see if that allows them to catch up to that 07 of douche baggins. They've kind of fallen back to about a second behind him right now. DB's running. About one second faster per, about a half second faster per lap right now over your second place car, the 13 of King of the Aces. So DB definitely has, he's able to cope with the tire wear here today better than the rest of it. As we do, we are going to see some pit stops here today for that 07. He is coming into the pits. So about 14 laps to go here. The 07 of Douchebaggins into the pits. We see some other folks dropping off. First time pit stops here in the in the IROC series. So DB heading down the front stretch here. Slowly down the front stretch. We're going to see what the crew for that 07 does. 
as he's bringing it around. There's a little bit of a hump right here in the in the pit road. He brings it around into his pit stall. Right side tires going on that 07. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for the 07 of Douche Baggins. Four tire stop for the 49 of Jetman. Four tires for the 25 of JTM. DB down and away. 49 down and away. Again, your leader on the last lap will be the zero or the thirteen at King of the Aces. The forty, the zero seven at Douche Baggins down and away. So first time for pit stops here today in the more free in the IROC series. I'm so used to saying the More Freedom series, but it is by More Freedom Trucking. So he saw almost over a twenty mile per hour drop in speeds over the course of the run. As we see the 13, a king of the aces out of the pits, but it looks like that 07 of Douche Baggins will take over the lead here in the IROC series after those pit stops. Once timing and scoring gets updated fully, we will go through the running order as DB has just out to the lead right now. Got that car hooked up, back up to about 174 miles an hour on that last lap. So, I think everything probably has almost updated as of right now, but let's go through at least your top five. Uh, your leader is at 07 at Douche Baggins with about 11 laps to go here. Second will be... The 49 of Jetman. Third will be the 23 of Fuller Than You, who started 10th here today. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. So JTM did have a good pit stop, able to get back out into the fourth position. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And rounding out your field right now is going to be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. So the high-numbered cars right here, the 329 and the 356 running at the back of the pack. We're going to see if they can start working themselves up to the front. Currently 11 seconds behind your leader, the 07 of Douche Baggins, who runs a second and a half up on that 49 of Jetman with under 10 laps to go here at Darlington. Checking through this field, see if we have any races on the track. I think your only race on the track as of right now is between the 329 and the 356. So DB has put his Viper out to the front of this field and his pit crew, his douche, or douche Motorsports pit crew gave him a good stop here today. Even though it's the IROC series, you know, they do need pit crew. So his Douche Motorsports pit crew Came out, able to change those four tires here. Different kind of style on these two. You know, center lug nut only on these Vipers. And so different kind of situation there. Little bit different fueling than their their normal More Freedom Series cars. Able to get a great pit stop for that 07. Able to put that car back out to the lead. With seven laps to go. If he can hold off or hold on and finish this, I think he's probably actually going to lead the most laps here today. So that 07, Douche Baggins, uh, great, great run so far. He's just, you know, all these cars are set up the same, everything else. So a lot of that is just drivers being able to drive their car. And DB seems to have just a, a good feel of the Vipers here today. You know, and when we go to the next track, it may be somebody else who just has, you know, like they have their their way with the car. Sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. As we see that 49 of Jetman still about one and a half seconds back on the 07 of Douche Baggins with five laps to go here at Darlington. Checking in on the 25 of JTM, slowly trying to reel in that 23 of Fuller Than You. So still, DB still maintaining that lead of about a second and a half. 
over the 49 of Jetman. Jetman currently, again, running 10th in points, so very good points day for this 49 of Jetman if he can finish here in the second position. Also, for that 07 of Douche Baggins, currently running 5th in points, and he was about 30-ish, 30, 33 points behind the 13 of King of the Aces when we came into this race. So King currently runs in the sixth position. So that may that may put DB if he can hold off and win this because he's going to lead the most laps and win. So that should give him kind of almost enough points. Maybe we'll we'll see. We'll see if he can. Uh, go into the points lead. He's looking for that second championship as the 25 at JTM is slowly creeping up on the 23 of Polar Than You. It's currently, let's see, four tenths of a second, even closer now, I think, to the back end of that 23 of Polar Than You. So JTM who led 13 laps early going, middle of the race-ish. He led those 13 laps. His tires just went away through that run, and uh, DB and Fuller able to get around him. So is his MBR teammate, the 49 of Jetman. As I think we're about to have one lap to go here at Darlington. Yep, one lap to go here at Darlington for the 0-7 of Douche Baggins. He's taking it down into one and two for the final time. Looking for his first win of the season here in the IROC series. Uh, no contention from the 49 of Jetman. Through three and four, here comes your leader, the 07 of Douche Baggins, off of turn number four, heading down to the front stretch, heading for the stripe. Your winner here today for the IRX Series at Darlington is the 07 of Douche Baggins. So awesome run by that 07 of Douche Baggins, able to just be really consistent, I think was the, the name of the game here today. Uh, very fast. Very fast cars, tires went away early. Again, these tire, these cars aren't necessarily made for oval racing, so tires will go away like that as we see the 07 pulling in. Uh, let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 07 of Douchebag, and second will be the 49 of Jetman, third will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. So our next race will be on May 6th for IROC Milwaukee. So I'm looking forward to that race. Short, I would say that's a short track here. So we're going to see how these Vipers do on the short track. Uh, let's take a look at your current points and see what that win did for that 07 of Douche Baggins as he was able to finish ahead of everybody that was in front of him in points. So we'll see how he's looking in points. We'll see what how that's shaking out right now. No team and chassis standings here in the IROC series. They're all driving Vipers. No teams, really. As But, hey, DB powered his car out to the lead here today. Had a great run. Able to get in and out of the pits. So it was awesome to see them do that pit stop here today. We'll see if the IROC series continues to do pit stops or if we just, if or if they just, you know, one and done on the pit stops. But, hey, it made an exciting little part here to this race as able to get in out of those pits, DB able to pull out that win. And so congratulations to the 07 of Douchebaggins. He's your winner today here at Darlington for IROC Darlington. And until Friday, back here at Darlington for the More Freedom Series, take care.